Hey everyone, it's Sarah from saratypes.com and today I'm going to show you how I made this hand lettered denim jacket. I did this for my niece so it's a super small tiny child's jacket um, and I added some flowers as well as her name. So the first thing I did was I took a picture of the back of the jacket so that I could sketch out what I wanted to do in this area here. So to take the photo, I actually used my iPad Pro um, and I took a picture of the back. And then once I had the photo, I imported it into my favorite app for lettering and drawing and that would be Procreate. And then I just grabbed one of my favorite brush lettering pens and started drawing what I wanted on the jacket. Okay, so to map out where I'm going to draw, I actually grabbed um, seamstress chalk, which is what I use on fabric, and I just kind of put a box around where I want the letters to be, and then also kind of outlined where I wanted the flowers to be, and then within the box for the letters, I put in, because um, I have three letters, so I just kind of sectioned it out into three letters as well. This way I know that I have enough room on my left and my right, but the majority of it is going to be freehand because it's just so much easier than trying to chalk it out. But you could probably use just regular chalk, um, maybe test a spot and see if it rubs off easily. The seamstress chalk definitely wipes off and if not, it will just wash off. So the tools I used were this Tulip Soft Matte Fabric Paint and then I grabbed a bunch of brushes. Um, you want a more stiff brush. If it's too soft, then it's going to be difficult because fabric is a little bit trickier than paper. So the stiffer the brush, the better. Um, and then also you probably want a small brush because this is somewhat detailed. So to start off, I lightly drew the letters. Um, it was pretty much just kind of like really dusting them on with the brush so I could at least see the outline but could mostly fix it with like the thickness of my letters if I felt like it was a little bit off. And then once I had the outline, I went in and really put more pressure and more of the paint on the fabric um, and just made it more opaque. It does take a couple coats. I went over these letters a few times to get it like a really nice bright white and also to really clean the lines because on denim if you just go over it once it can be a little bit like not as sharp as you'd like it to be around the letters so to do that I did go in a few times and kind of just um, dabbed the paint in certain spots in order to get a sharper line.
so now that I got my letters in, I'm going to go in and do the flowers. Um, so you won't see all of the flower work that I do. I'm not really great at florals or I've never actually really tried florals. So this is my first time. Um, I think the second flower turned out better than the first one, but all in all, they're not that bad. <laughs> So I'm just finishing up the last flower here. Um, just wanted to talk to you a bit about the paint. So I did use tulip paint, which is washable and permanent and should dry soft so it moves with your fabric and doesn't crack. Um, I did read that jacquard paint was the best one, but I couldn't find it, so um, I'm not really sure how it compares. But if you're looking to do this, you can definitely try the jacquard. Uh, but this one worked great too. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below and let me know.